For decades, Americans were the world's champion shoppers, piling on debt to support a lifestyle that was either of necessity or simply of want. But the long buying spree may finally be coming to an end. The consumer seems to be getting the message that you cannot borrow your way to prosperity. A rise in consumer debt coupled with a decline in home values and a cloud of uncertainty over job security are forcing many to cut back. So consumers are paying down their debt, saving more, and not relying on borrowing to fund a lifestyle that they can't truly afford. Getting personal finances in order would seem to be a good thing, but if everyone decides to save during a recession, demand for goods and services will fall, making it harder for the economy to recover. For some individuals, avoiding a situation from which they would have to recover is paramount, and that means sticking to a budget. Uh, I have a budget program in my iPhone, and absolutely everything I spend goes in the budget program. So I added up all my expenses uh, of what I had to do, and then I have another budget called Other. A change in discretionary spending can be seen at major retailers. Walmart and JCPenney have noted a fundamental shift in shopping behavior, the desire to save more and spend less. With grocery shopping, I know I look at circulars more for coupons and other discounts. I know I use Costco more. Um, I also use other alternatives to get food, such as farmers markets and whatnot. Some industry experts believe the savings rate will keep rising. Financial advisors are cautioning people that they need to put away the equivalent of six months' income in case they get laid off. This is the opportunity to build a savings cushion. More savings is better than less savings in an environment like this where the unemployment rate is steadily escalating. Of course, it is possible the rise in the savings rate is just a temporary phenomenon, but many economists believe the current crisis will fundamentally change the way people handle their savings habits. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.